Hey guys, Neo Haku here, and today I'm joined by Sea Cannon. And we're gonna be giving a review of Dragon Ball Super the movie Broly. What is your um, opinion on it, Sea Cannon? Well, right, this, uh, this is kind of someone who's, um, not, he's only seen movies, uh, 14, 32, Broly, I haven't seen any of the, uh, like, anything from a movie one through, I haven't seen any, but, personally, I thought it was a pretty good film. I was, uh, I, I wouldn't say it's better than Battle of Gods, but I would, I, I prefer to recommend it. Yeah, it's a lot better than Resurrection, actually. It's my favourite part of the hidden breath, but, for example, there's a piece of code, the free switch, yeah. which was to go 5 centimeters taller, and that's what it was a pretty good reference to, um, Commander Red. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about him. Yeah, and also, it wasn't Muscle Tower in the night in Japan. I think that a lot of the, it was that, uh, it was a very action-based film, a bit like Red Rex Red, but I think, there was story during the action, which made it better than that film, because I don't think yeah, like absolutely. it when it's just, but it's very good, it's just like three facts. I like that the whole, um, the, I prefer the three facts story, especially how, like, it's not entirely normal for someone to have an entire hate of them as they grow up, because they're a particular point of view. Yeah. His backstory was still stupid, though, let's be real. Yeah, but it was bad. For those who haven't seen it yet, but well, he, we said there would be spoilers, so I don't care if you're upset about this, but the whole reason Broly sent away is going to be, well, it's because Prince Vegeta, King Vegeta, sees Broly near Vegeta but... with a higher power level. It's, uh, it's, it's not a good character motiv motivation, but it's a motivation, I guess. It's, it's a bit more believable, considering he is a Vegeta. Uh, yeah. I have to say, um, I think one of my, what my favourite part of the movie was, was the, um, the scene where you see, it was, when you see Goku landing on Earth and start like, playing all the original Dragon Ball stuff, it was, um... Oh, that was great. Yeah. Uh, that's that a, was so nostalgic. That's a, yeah, that's a moment of I can see that someone who's like, just getting into Dragon Ball, they wouldn't appreciate that as much, but it was like with single spirits on either Apart from that, the high point of the film for me was um, probably Vegeta versus Broly. Yeah, but seeing how... Because that's the only fight that actually has a reason to be in the film. Goku yeah. and Gogeta's fights were unnecessary. They were fun, but not such a the animation yeah. in this film. It, like the original like, first trailer didn't make it look as good as it would be that good. Like, it looks like that not this high budget as the other like, film, but as it, as like... The movie like, is stunning. Yeah, as more trailers were released, it, yeah, basically, if you're wondering what happened to Super's budget, you can watch this film and you'll see what happened. Yeah, damn right. You don't get any of episode 5 Goku and Beerus in this film. In fact, you get barely any Beerus in this film. Yeah, he's a uh, stuck baby thing. A pan. Full uh, up. I thought they needed to, there was one bit that needed a bit more explaining, and that was the scene between, um, like, I, I, cause mainly because I had to come up with a theory about this, there was one scene where, um, it was only the Broly vs. Gogeta fight, and it was when, uh, Broly, Broly and Gogeta like punch each other and then this clash and then I guess like it, it, it looks like that reality throw, I think. Oh yeah that bit, that was really stupid. Yeah. I think there's actually reference to this game or something. The final boss it like, looks a little bit like the time rifts in the universe. Yeah, it needs a bit more explaining. Did you notice that like when Frieza dropped the Supernova on Planet Vegeta, Bardock's armor was just randomly broken. Yeah, right. and you, yeah. Before it even hit, yeah, I don't Bardock was just battle damage for no so reason. It, even if you look at Dragon Ball Minus Super, that the Bardock part of the Broker, which I know is in canon, but it's still something in your problem. Like, the, the, uh, 
the freezer force, like they had, I think they had like a chip in his armor on his right on his right shoulder, but nothing else really did he. The pacing in the film's horrible. It's um, but it, yeah, she's, uh, it's probably should have been more time to start. It was... There's more character development than Resurrection F, but that's still Little Conan. And probably more in, than in all the previous ones. I mean, yeah, because Broly has a reason to exist in, the, in this movie now. And uh, if this, uh, this movie's uh, highlighting Green, uh, Green, the non canon Green, the non canon which, um, was, I think it was a, a move that was, a, it was, this movie was going to work. They, they knew this movie was going to work no matter what. This one's making good, so they knew that they could bring that thing. The movie could be, could be an hour of Goku talking to the dragon and people would still see this, let's be real. But, um, I do think that there's a sort of reference to, uh, people kind of playing Broly right now. I liked the bit about how about the fur that he's wearing, but I was just a friend here. Oh, bar. Yeah, bar. That was uh, uh, a rubbish, rubbish bit. Oh, I didn't feel it. It was a lot more knowledge about what Bruce was like. Like, like him, like a baseball character. Like, you, you can expect the one from Lady Go Force. He's not gonna, he's not gonna be. Was like Goku, when he was in the game, still had like this monster stuff. He was a lot angry with a lot of the series in life. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but did you notice that Broly technically isn't legendary, he's just Super Saiyan 1. So. Well, at one point, he, yeah, because you can see that when his aura went away after he transformed, it was, it was yellow. That was yellow. But, yeah. I think that. I think at one point he must have gone to like grade two or something. But like, I noticed it's during the um, rally rally breaks. They didn't have his hair without the aura still on screen like it is. Uh, like this character on screen. So I think yeah. maybe that was maybe that was just grade two. Like what Vegeta did against. Uh, I mean, from what I could tell, it was probably like his his base form being so strong is explained as him drawing energy from the well of power that is that the Saiyans tap into when they go into Great Apes. But Broly's able to do it without transforming. Yeah. So I'm assuming it's just Super Saiyan 1 combined with that. Oh, that that was interesting. It did look interesting because that because if we already know the Great Ape multiplies ten times, that gives us like a more a better scale on how powerful the God Force are. Because yeah. Because yeah. I mean I like if. So. If Great Hits 10 times, Geo would be a random girl making an expensive thing to play two during that fight, I think at some point. That puts the, um, the super, that puts, uh, maybe Super Saiyan God at about 10 times two. If Soul Punisher, it's in the movie. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that that was, I think given the situation that was used, I think it was good for the camera, but I don't think it would quite make sense to what it did. It seems like in this in Broly, they used it to basically draw out Broly's humanity. Oh, I didn't actually think of that. That's not the Because when he's hit with the full force Kamehameha, he's instead of him having his crazy blank white eyes, he's back to normal. Yeah, and the, and the highlight of that. And they use that a lot with the, um, like, especially with those two other characters, like the um, other people who joined the Freezer Force. So I don't know, their, I've forgotten their names. Chi Lai and Lemon. Yeah, Chi Lai and Lemon. But they were all, they all knew about what happened to them after all the story and how the power of the tree. So. Man, you see some really cool attacks in this film, like the energy grapple. From God Goku. That was, yeah, that was Basically, I, never, I think that's the first technique he's invented himself. It is the first technique he invented himself. Everything else is stolen. Actually, that was interesting. Like, 
something that can be taken successfully in the past. But fusions never work. I mean, it works against Boo, it works exactly yeah. how they planned it. Yeah, not as fun. Yeah, not as fun. Like, like, beat. They end up using Nani, but when you take into account like, other situations, considering when you take into account future performance on Cassidy, then in GC, you should still fail. You should just go to the other finish your job. Finish your job on the next champion. Gito Blue timed out to Nani. The Master got beaten by Trump. Now he got beaten by his running. Yeah. And Kabito Kai just never fought anyone. And Ke even Kefka, she got beaten out by Andre. This is the first time that Fusion's left. Yeah. Old Kai counts as a Fusion, has he wins all the time. He, he won a dirty pitch in former. Between Freezer and King Cole, I thought. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Freezer is just completely recolored in this movie. I mean, well, they did say it was the case of the stuff in the reference episode. But, what's that then? This is an interesting fact they're putting in. I didn't know that Vegeta was. What? Oh, yeah, Vegeta the 4. Yeah, the 4. Ex ex it explains why the planet's called Vegeta if his, yeah, if his father was, wasn't the one who conquered him. Bulma's wish was stupid, but like, the, w the wishes were just an excuse for everybody to be in the same place at the same time. It does, it does make sense how she said that, look at how she does though. Yeah, I mean, the first time she hunted for Dragon Ball, she wanted to get a boyfriend and she got Yamcha, but, you know. Well, I don't think we have that anything else to really talk about with this film. Yeah, I think that's good. So, overall, good. overall uh, rating out of 10? Uh, I'd give it probably an. Oh, well, considering I'm not a generous writer, I'd say probably an 8. That would also be Me, good. I'd give it a 6.5 or a 7. So, yeah, I'd, I'd give Battle of God a 9. Uh, Battle of God is that. still the best. It's better than Broly. Better than all of them. Broly is definitely second though. Well, third for me, but because oh, I just I love my fa my my favorite is Wrath of the Dragon, but I know that one's oh, not yeah. the best. Anyway, thanks for watching. Yeah. Subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my dude P Cannons. And peace out. Yeah, see ya.